Hi, I'm going to talk about how to install Task Freak. Task Freak is a PHP task management software and it's uh, one of the tools you can use to implement the GTD methodology with this, which is getting things done. And I wanted to show you the GTD Wikipedia web page and you can see that GTD is an action management system and one of the things you need for GTD is some sort of place where you can organize the tasks or the goals that you want to accomplish and you can use pieces of paper uh, there's a tickler file and here's a picture of 43 folders one folder is for each day of the month and then there's 12 folders for each month individually otherwise you can use software and there's lots of software there's Microsoft Outlook and uh, Wikipedia also lists a bunch of software the software that we're going to talk about is Task Freak and Task Freak is uh, it's a web-based task manager it's written in PHP and what that means is that it can be used on many different web hosts almost all web hosts that I know of have PHP available for their users, uh, even even ones, even web hosts that offer free hosting offer PHP, and uh, it says that it's GTD compliant. It's very easy to set up. You just need a database. Generally, MySQL is used. At least I've always used MySQL, and then uh, PHP four or PHP five. It's uh, very easy to use, and you once you get in get started in about five minutes you can become very competent in the software and uh, it's very easy to install and in this first video we're going to talk about how to install GTD the first thing you want to do is you want to think about whether you want to have GTD for multiple people or a single person and the difference between the two is that when you install GTD for multiple people you can assign tasks or pieces of work to different people and if you are going to install GT uh, sorry task freak for a single user you are just going to be using it as your own um, organization tool so if you're going to use Task Freak as single user, you would go for uh, one of these single user installations. I use Task Freak as multi user, and that's the installation that I'm going to show you. So the first thing you do is you click on multi user, and then it's going to ask you uh, which version you want, and you should just choose the latest version. 0 0.62 is the latest version, and I think it's from uh, 2007 or 2008 your email is optional and I won't enter it you click I am not a crook if you're not a crook and then you click download now and it'll ask you where you want to save it uh, you can see that I'm going to save it in C temp and I have downloaded the software now and you need to be able to unzip this software and in order to do that I have a software called WinRAR uh, you can use a bunch of different software 7-zip is free software actually I use 7-zip uh, this is described as a WinRAR archive but 7-zip is free software and I'm going to say that I want to extract it to uh, this directory here and I will get a directory created and inside here there's another file that I have to extract and I'll just say extract here and now I will get the actual task freak directory which contains a bunch of files that we will need to copy over to our web server what that means is that you need to host the software yourself 
we're going to install this on GTD things and uh, we're going to leave it open so that people can come in and create their own tasks. Um, why would you want to have it self-hosted? I mean, mainly for privacy reasons and security reasons. If you don't want people to see your tasks, then you want to control your whole password and everything else. That's why you would have it self-hosted. Um, if you don't care, then there's a lot of other um, task management solutions. Remember the Milk is very good for single users. The advantage that Task Freak has is that it is a multi-user solution. Let's open up the README. It says, please open the README text in the install folder for information on how to install Task Freak. Okay. So I'll close this and I'll go to the install folder. And since I, I am on Windows now, I'm going to ex in, ignore all of these files with the dot in front of them and I'll just open up this normal looking README file. And uh, here we are, here's the full README. And this is, as you can see, April 2008. First of all, if you're updating from an older version, please edit your config.php. So we're not doing that, we're doing a new installation. So we'll scroll down in this file until we reach installation notes. Okay, so it says simply create a subfolder and upload every file. And what this means is create a subfolder on your web host. So we would go to our web host and create a subfolder. And I'm not going to show that. Uh, there's, there's two ways to do that. One is to simply create a subfolder inside one of your website's folders. And the other is to create a subdomain. And if you create a subdomain, that subdomain is associated with a folder for the main domain. And that's the method that I used for gtdthings.com. I created a subfolder and I created a subdomain. I created a subdomain called taskfreak.gtdthings.com. And when we create a subfolder using cPanel, you can, when we create a subdomain, you can specify the subfolder.